Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to my long-awaited How to Make Facebook Apps tutorial. This is going to be a long series with many, many, many videos, and I'm going to show you how to do really cool things and program pretty much anything you could ever want in Facebook in this tutorial. Well, I actually saw a Facebook app that charges you a monthly rate to display your YouTube videos, and I didn't think that was right, so in this tutorial, or in this first two parts of this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this guy right here. It allows you to play your YouTube videos and also cycle through a whole bunch of YouTube YouTube videos right here on the screen just by clicking on the thumbnails and it also grabs all the thumbnails from YouTube. It allows people to bookmark this app whenever you make it. It also allows people to like it and also comment on it and comment on their Facebook wall and all kinds of other cool things. So the first thing I'm going to do is before you can set all of this up, you're going to need to go to facebook.com forward slash developers and you're going to see something like this on your screen and you're going to want to click allow. What this is going to do is it's going to provide you you access to all the Facebook tools needed to be able to develop apps and special pages and all kinds of other cool stuff. After you hit allow, you're going to see a screen that looks like this right here. And there's all kinds of documentation on how to use Facebook, but we're going to go through all that in video tutorials, so you don't need to worry about that. Unless you want to look at it, by all means, look at it. And then to start making apps, you want to click on create new app and you're going to have to type in your app name and it's going to have to be a name that's not already taken and then you want to agree to the Facebook terms and hit continue. Then you're going to have to go through this little security woogie woogie right here and then hit submit and then you could start making your own app. Now I'm going to go through all the things that are important here and all the things that are not important. First, you're going to want to give your app a name. Mine is just messing around. And then you want to create what's called a namespace, which is basically going to be the directory where this guy is going to be on Facebook.com. And I just called mine messing around FB. Then you want to type in your email address and you can choose a category. I just chose other because this is kind of another type of app. And this is the important thing. Now what you have to understand is this page changes all the time inside of Facebook. But these main things that I'm pointing out here almost never change. And one thing that hasn't changed in a long time is Canvas URL. Now what this is, is you have to have your own website and you're going to have to create a special directory on your own website and you're going to store all of your Facebook files inside of there. And then all of the code that lies in those files is going to be uploaded into Facebook for you to be able to use. And Secure Canvas, this would work if you have a SSL certificate. You don't need to worry about that right now. And if you did have an SSL certificate, you just use this exact link that's on the screen. If you can't see this, you can watch this video in full screen HD because it's an HD video. The only difference between Canvas URL and Secure Canvas URL is it's going to be HTTPS down here and everything else is going to be exactly the same. And that's pretty much all you need to worry about. I normally leave everything else as a default. So after you enter all that information in, you want to hit Save Changes. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to make a page tab. And I'm going to call this one Top Video. And again, in the same folder like you have up here messing with FB, on your website, inside of this folder, you're going to want to create an HTML file. If you can't see this, I'll make it a little bit bigger. And then here is where all of the code is going to lie that's going to be uploaded inside of Facebook to create our nice little page that I showed you first here on the screen. And that's basically it in regards to setting up everything on Facebook. Now you have to write all the code that is going to then be displayed inside of Facebook. And you're going to do it in my situation in topvideo.html. I just have to write all the code inside of there and make everything work. And here I am in a basic text editor. And I just have a couple little things to find here. Style, this is where I'm going to do my CSS styling. But you don't really even need to worry about all this code. If you just want to copy this code, and you'll basically only have to change one line of that code to make it work for you, that's great. And that code is available underneath this video. And you can use it however you want. And the other things I have here predefined is this is a jQuery library that I'm going to be using throughout my code. And here I'm just defining some scripts. And then here's the head section being closed off. And here's the main body section. This is where I'm going to be writing all my code if you're unaware of how to program. Like I said, just copy the code below and you can use it however you'd like. The first thing I'm going to do here is I need to get myself the Facebook JavaScript SDK for this app to be able to work. And how you do that basically is just copying exactly what I have here on my screen. Inside of the body section, we're going to create a div, and you have to do this. So you're going to create a div, and it's going to have an ID equal to fb-root, and then close that div off. OK? 
Okay, so you have to do that every single time. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually grab ourselves the JavaScript code that is needed for Facebook. So you just type in script source is equal to HTTP colon forward slash connect dot Facebook dot net forward slash EN underscore US if you're speaking English. If not, sorry, I'm not sure what to tell you. Character set is equal to UTF dash eight and then you want to close that off. And this is going to grab the code you need to be able to program inside of Facebook. Then we're going to do some more scripting. So put a script tag inside of there and then you're going to call FB dot init. Again, this initializes all of the code that you're going to need to be able to use Facebook or develop Facebook apps. And then app ID. Now where this is coming from is over here. Whenever you create an app, it's going to give you an app ID. And there's also an app secret, but I have that blocked out. So you're just going to copy that right there and you're going to type in your specific app ID. So this is going to be whatever yours is. 652. This is going to be one of the only things you're going to need to change to make this app work for you. Then under status, we're going to put in true. And this just checks if the person who's currently on this tab is logged in. This should never change. After cookie, we're going to type in true. And this just enables cookie so the server can access the session that's created. If you don't know what that means, don't worry about it because this is almost always going to be true and then type in true. And this is the markup language that's specific to Facebook. And we're just basically saying here, yeah, we want to speak in Facebook's language. In essence, that's what that says. I'm trying to keep this as dumbed down as possible so that just about anybody will be able to use this tutorial if you have a little basis in regards to how to use HTML. Then if you want to allow somebody to create a bookmark for your specific tab that we're making here, just type in FB colon bookmark and then forward slash FB colon book mark. And that's all you need to do. And because we did this up here, you can now do this and boom, 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 boom. People are going to be able to bookmark your app, which is kind of cool. Let's give myself some space. Then I'm going to create an H2 tag and it's called top videos. This is what's going to be displayed on the screen. And I'm going to close that H2 tag off. Then I'm going to create a div with an ID equal to, and I'm going to call it top video. And this is going to be, allow me to later on go in here and change anything that lies inside of this div. And anytime you create something like that. And all a div is, is if you don't know, it's just in essence a box inside of HTML. That's all it is. And then I'm going to create an iframe and it's going to contain my YouTube video. And like I showed you before, it's going to change if any of the thumbnails are clicked. Tab in here, type in iframe ID is equal to and I'm going to give it an identification so that I can later change it. And I'm going to type in width is equal to 500. Height is equal to 311. And if you're wondering where this comes from, jump over into Happy YouTube. Okay, so here is my fantasy football strategy video. Where all this is coming from, if you click on share inside of YouTube and any embed, there is your code. This is in essence what I got here, except I'm going to click on that. There you are. So this is all of the code that I'm in essence copying. If I want to make this smaller or whatever, I'm sure you guys know how to use YouTube. See, I typed in 500 and that's where the 311 came from. So nothing too fancy. And then source is equal to, and this is going to be the default video that shows up when somebody goes on there. Tube.com forward slash embed forward slash. And then you're going to have to put your special YouTube code inside of here. So I'm just going to come in here, jump up to the top of the screen. I'm going to copy the little code that comes after V equals right there. So I'm just going to copy that and paste that inside of there. And then you're going to have to put a question mark and you're going to have to type in W mode is equal to transparent. And the reason why we're doing that is if you don't have this inside of here, if a pop up comes on the screen, your video is going to be at the top Z index, which means it's, it's going to float above every single thing else on the page, even if a pop up comes on the page. So we're putting that in there so that the video will stay downwards and allow for other things to show up around it. And if that didn't quite make sense, leave a comment below or whatever. Frame border is equal to zero. Then I'm going to say allow full screen. And then I want to close off my iframe and type iframe. And then my div closes itself. And then if I want to allow users to be able to post to my wall, like I have right here and all this little neat stuff, all of this stuff is very easy to put inside of your app. You're just going to create a div and give it an ID equal to comments. And then FB colon comments, number of posts. You know, I'm just gonna leave this as four. And title is equal to my blog comments. You can put anything you want here. It's totally up to you. I don't, this doesn't matter. And then simple is equal to one. You're almost always gonna do that. Close that off. 
close off the div. And in the next part of the tutorial, I'm going to show you all the rest of the code that needs to be put in here to make this guy 100% functional. If you want to skip ahead, there's a link in the underbar to the complete code. And like I said, you can do anything you want with it. Leave any questions or comments below. And otherwise, till next time.